of homecoming weekend was punctuated by live broadcasts on ESPN2 on Friday and a national TV audience for the game on Saturday. The returning alumni would watch the Nittany Lions play a ranked opponent for the fourth straight week with number 25 Iowa coming to town. Penn State jumped up on top 2-0 when a high snap went over Hawkeye punter David Bradley's head. As has been the case all season, the Nittany Lions defense came to play. They forced Iowa into a second straight three and out, and the early battle for field position was being won by Penn State. Bradley gets it cleanly off. Calvin Lowry still has to run up for it. Catches on the dead run at the 42, and Lowry breaks free. Only Bradley to beat. But like Penn State, Iowa, too, boasted one of the top defenses in the Big Ten. Mills, plenty of time, dumps it off to Smoko, his tight end. Robbie Gold was forced to try a long 51-yard field goal. The kick had the distance, but was wide right. Points and yardage would be hard to come by all afternoon. And even when Iowa put together one good drive, they still couldn't get into the end zone. We're down. Here's the fake. Bradley up the middle. Bradley swings near side. First down to the 10. Wide out each way from the eye. Inside the 10. First and goal. Bradley take it out for a loss by Eddie Johnson. Third and goal to 12. Back to pass. He throws. Complete to Hinkle. Spells it at the 9-yard line. This Penn State defense stood up there and said no way. It'll be a 27-yard attempt put down. The kick by Kyle Slicker is up. The kick is good. And Iowa takes a 3-2 lead. On a weekend made for memories, fans got a dose of old-fashioned, in-your-face defense. Batted down by Andrew Gooman and incomplete. Tate under center. Back to pass. Four-man rush. Dumps it off near side to Bradley at the 30. And hit by Zemitis and Jack in the open field. You cannot play an open field play any better than that. Zach Mills welcomed the return of Michael Robinson, who had been his leading receiver before an injury forced him to miss three games. Mills had it going through the air in the second quarter, but the Hawkeyes had brought their defense to... Wide receiver each way from the eye on second and four midfield. Back goes Mills. Steps up. Wait. He throws Ant's intercepted. 40. Down to their side. 50. Considine to the 30. 25. 20. Considine taken down by Levi Brown at the 10-yard line. Shotgun Tate. Second and goal to seven. Tate. Quarterback draw up the middle. Tate to the five. Tate hit by Zomitis to Jack at the three. That's a great decision by Zomitis. I'll tell you, Zomitis, I'll tell you what, it's a quarter. I mean, we're not talking about a linebacker or defensive yeah. line, but he will bring it. I'll tell you that. One setback. Back goes Tate. Short drop. Pump face. Look. Down he goes. Back at the 10 yard line. Scott Paxson. Put down by Bradley. Kick is on its way, and that kick is good. But this Penn State defense, that was a big, big stop. And they made plenty of those. The Nittany Lions held Iowa to negative rushing yards in the first quarter and only 10 yards on the ground in the half. When the Hawkeyes tried to throw, Penn State made them pay for that. And it's batted by Chisley and intercepted by Chisley. Chisley at the 40, gives ground to the 42, goes back to the 40-yard line. I mean, he did it all. He deflected the ball. I mean, he is a guy with long arms, and if you don't get to the quarterback, make sure you get your hands up in the air. He did that, deflected the ball, realized where it was, and got the interception. Plays like this by LeVon Chisley are the reason Penn State has held every team they've played this year to less than their average offensive production. But it was their own offensive production that was becoming a concern. They went for the jugular on the first play after the turnover and just missed. With Here's Robinson a big third and in the four end now zone. at the Iowa 34 on the near hash. Two receivers near side, one far side, lone setback. Back goes Mills. Sets up, waits, pressure, throws for Robinson to flex in, and to the turf they go. And is it intercepted? Yes, intercepted at the 29-yard line. If Iowa had any thoughts of this being a momentum shifter, those would be crushed by linebacker Paul Pazlesny. Even when they picked up eight on first down, the Lions would not let them convert. On second and three, Tate rolls left, pump fake, now in trouble, taken out by Pazlesny at the 26-yard line. A linebacker can't play there. I'll say it, Pazlesny, you talk about a guy, Pazlesny does a great job at keeping his feet, keeping alive, and not getting knocked off his feet. That is a big-time play by that sophomore linebacker. And he's made a lot of those as Pazlesny leads the Nittany Lions in tackles. On third and nine, Penn State digs in. Good snap to take, back to pass. Pressure from Holly, throws, batted down by Chisley, incomplete. And this defense.
defense continuing to play outstanding football. A defense that is second against the pass in the Big Ten and ranked nationally in three different team categories. It's a defense that kept Penn State in the game and gave their 85th homecoming crowd hope for a second-half comeback. Penn State was 34-4 in homecoming games under Joe Paterno. And the Nittany Lions started off the second half determined to add to that excellent record. Back to pass. Set. Looks downfield. Throws off his back foot for Robinson. He's at the 40, 45, 50. Robinson into Iowa territory at the 45-yard line. Mills got leveled and delivered a strike. Find out where number 12 is on the field. I don't care if he's covered. He's six foot three, six foot four. He can out jump anybody in that secondary. But for both sides, successful plays proved to be just blips on the radar screen. Eventually, the defense always took over in a chess match of field position. Pickle let it hit at the 10, 5, and knocked out of bounds by Ethan Kilmer at the one yard line. You can't get it any better than that. Second down about nine and a half from their own two. Crowd going wild here at Beaver Stadium, rooting for this defense. More noise now. Tate has to call a timeout. This crowd knows that they created it. State defense has a vocal 12th man behind him. Tate gives it to the fullback, make it stood up and drop at the goal line. They'll say he's down at the one. Tomba Holly off the edge. Attacked. Relentlessly, their defense attacked all day, and it spilled over to special teams. Bradley takes it. Here they come. Donnie Johnson blocks it. Donnie Johnson blocks it. It goes. It's picked up by Tubin at the 10. It goes out of bounds on the far side. Donnie Johnson blocked the punt. It was Johnson's first career punt block, but the one constant from the start of this game, both defenses made real estate difficult to acquire. Good snap to Robinson. Under the delay. Robinson up the middle, dances around. He's in trouble. Ross had him by the ankles, and no gain at the eight-yard line. On third and goal from the eight, Zach Mills tried for Michael Robinson in the corner of the end zone. Iowa had it covered too closely for Robinson's standards. On the money, put down. Kick is up by Robbie Gold, and the kick is no good. He missed it wide right. Despite the disappointment, the Nittany Lions defense grew more determined. Each time, they found a way to stop the Hawkeyes. Interceptions, blocked kicks, fumbles, they did whatever it took. Back goes Tate. Throws knocked down by Chisley and incomplete. Penn State allowed Iowa just 10 first downs the entire game, the fewest they've allowed this season. They also allowed only 42 rushing yards, another season's best. Back to pass, feels the heat from Paxson, steps up through the seam 40, 45, fumbles the football, and Penn State recovers at their own 49-yard line. The defense does it again. This is hustle, hustle by your defensive lineman when you realize the quarterback's going to run with the football. Tom Bahali forced the fumble, and Tim Shaw recovered. The game moved into the fourth quarter. Now, each of the Hawkeyes' last two visits to Beaver Stadium went to overtime, and this one was destined to be a nail-biter as well. Under center is Robinson. Play action fake. Mike sets. He throws. Complete the goal at first down at the 10-yard line. Zach Mills had been knocked out of the game with an injury, and Michael Robinson was now in at quarterback. But he and Isaac Smolko misconnected on a potential touchdown pass, bringing up third down. But Mike Wade throws in the far corner, and it's intercepted at the two-yard line. 10, 15, 20. The storyline stayed the same. The Nittany Lion defense rose up again. They had Iowa moving backwards, much to the delight of a crowd that caused the Hawkeyes to use their second-half timeouts prematurely. He can barely hear the students are all over him. Now everybody else joins, and Iowa's out of timeouts. He just called his third and final one. Timeout, and the crowd has created two of those three. Turns, Tate rolls near side, big plays in the end zone. He's in trouble. Down he goes. He's at the goal line. They say he's at the one. He is not in the end zone. Having already had a punt blocked in their own end zone, Iowa stared into the Lions' teeth and decided to give up two rather than three or seven, creating a bizarre six to four score. Another turnover put the pressure again on Tom Bradley's defense. 
and they were more than willing to accept the challenge. Nick is left side and ripped down by Eddie Johnson for a loss. The defense gave Penn State one final chance, but their fifth turnover of the day sealed it. Roth blitzing Robinson. He gets away from him. Peel back block. Now Robinson trying to dance away and get to the 14-yard line. Fumble. Fumble the football. Penn State created enough opportunities to beat Iowa, but did not take advantage of them. It was the first time they had two safeties in a game in 25 years, and that's almost as rare 